Nearly 50 years ago, Bob's Sub and Slippery Rock opened their doors for the very first time. The original owner, Bob Woolston, started this college town favorite back in the fall of 1973. What started as a small shop in a townhouse has turned into a staple in the Slippery Rock community. Cindy Marlowe has been with the business since 1975, joining just two years after its grand opening. Cindy worked at Bob's Sub until 1989, when it was decided that she would take over the shop. The shop was originally in an old, beat-up house, and we had maybe max 30 seats. And um, back then we stayed open till 2 o'clock in the morning because there was nothing else in this town to eat. There was no McDonald's, there was no sheets, there was, no, there was nothing. Bob Sub wasn't always in the family, but since the Marlowe's took over, it became a community of its own. Cindy shared memories of her mother and explained how they got as far as they did. We moved across the street from where the old Bob Sub shop was and we needed jobs. And they had help one at time in the window. Now I did have to talk him into hiring my mother because he didn't think mother and daughter could work together. And I said, well, we're not a typical mother and daughter. Yeah. The kids loved her and, you know, some of these kids surprisingly have, do not have a good rapport with their parents at all. And so she kind of took over for some of the kids, especially that worked for us, who needed, you know, a mother figure. She was wonderful. She was wonderful, yeah. The subs at Bob's are just like the buns a huge factor to the business's success. But Cindy and her nephew Joe, who now owns the business, say that there are other important factors as well. I always tell people that when I open a business here, you can't deal just with the college kids or you go out of business because there's too much time when they're not here. You have to get the locals in your, in your restaurant. One of the things is quality. You have to have quality. And that home, our homemade bread is huge. It's a huge thing, but you have to give the people quality. If you don't give them quality, you know, then they won't come back. Friendly, friendly atmosphere, like I say. Everybody loved my mother. She would sit out there and the kids would talk and it was a friendly, it's a friendly place. When you Google Bob Sub, the Slippery Rock location might not be the only one that appears. The biggest issue for the business is the 10 copycat shops standing on their name and a false claim to history. Cindy Craig, the woman who has made the bread for Bob's since 1989 agrees that the proof is in the bun. Cindy Marlowe and her, and her mother, Joe's grandma, Esther, came to us to our bakery in Grove City and asked if we could make them sub buns because they had lost their supplier. So anyway, I said I never had made sub buns before, but I would give it a try. So we made them some of each size and they liked them and it's been you know, that's where it started. There is nobody else who has a bun like Bob's. We make them only for them. And so that makes their sandwich the real Bob's sub. Being in the restaurant industry for nearly 50 years, you would think Cindy has seen it all, but nothing could have prepared her for the COVID-19 pandemic. So that made it hard. It's a lot of things with COVID that made it hard. And when you couldn't have anybody in your restaurant, you know, how do you deal with that when you never had to, to, you know, deal with that before? Upon her retirement, Cindy has remained close to the shop and even makes appearances from time to time. Looking back on the legacy that she helped create, she says the thing that she misses most is the people that she would encounter every day. Oh, the kids. The kids are fabulous. You know, you got to know, you got to know a lot of kids. I mean, you always do see homecoming and how many people come and hug me, you know, and everywhere we go, everywhere we go, I go, people stop me, and, you know, uh, because I know so many people, and it, there, there's a lot of bad people, but the, out, the good people so outweigh the bad people. Yeah. And being this college, you get to know people, not just the locals, but from all over the world. The shop has been serving sandwiches to the community of Slippery Rock since fall of 1973. Although many businesses may claim that they are the true college town favorite, Bob's and Slippery Rock remains the only true and original Bob sub.